Okay, cool guys. Um, Dion David and Franz Malerba. Um, please feel free to fire any questions and then Afrikaans will we'll do it at the end uh, for the last 10 minutes or so if you don't mind. Dion, since the end of the, the Wales series, you just walk us through what you guys have been up to and kind of things you've been looking at as you, you sort of escalate now towards the rugby championship. Obviously, after the World Series, we took a, a short break and then um, we gathered um, on a sort of a, a preparation camp where we just revisited our performances um, against Wales over the three tests, um, looking at um, areas where we thought things went well, but also things that we need to improve on in terms of our game. So, uh, yeah, so we, we assessed that. Um, Done a thorough pre uh, review on that, and then and our training session was based on improving those areas. And is it sort of accepted amongst the group that you guys have now really got to take another step up? The rugby championship is going to be something else. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, we 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 were very honest in terms of where we think we are in different departments and and um, how we can improve uh, in terms of that. So for us, it's it's always uh, a challenge going forward to take it tournament by tournament and game by game in, in order to improve our game, building uh, towards the bigger picture. And uh, definitely um, um, having a New Zealand here um, uh, at the start of the championship, we, we are very uh, realistic in terms of the big challenge that lies ahead of us. And then we need to, we need to be much better um, in terms of where we were. Yeah, and what are some of those work ones that you guys need to work on? I mean, obviously, there's a uh, I suppose, I suppose the uh, finishing off chances and things like that. What else do you need to work on to be more clinical? Uh, as I see, you know, um, the basics of the game, I think, generally stays the same. Obviously, you, you want to consistently improve um, your execution in terms of your set pieces. You want to you want to uh, improve um, the way you you get out of your own half, looking at your at your kicking game. As you said, you also want to, if you get opportunities, which is not much at this, this level, you want to make sure that you convert those opportunities. Um, so yeah, so, so, at times it is it is it, it, it relates to some skill areas that we need to improve on, or it will be to a specific department um, and looking at systems within the department. Um, and and yeah, also in, in terms of the effort of the players, you understand, well, well, our intent of doing things was uh, were that uh, at the right level where we wanted. So, so we, we, we had such a holistic view looking at everything um, at where we want to improve in. They, um, they made it quite clear they want to stop your ball, though. I don't think that's a secret for any team playing you anyway. Mm. But um, there's been specific emphasis on, on them. But I mean, they also um, have a couple of weaknesses, I'm sure you picked up from the, the island game where they scored those two tries and that's yeah. Yeah, as I, as I said, listen, we, um, we've got a, a, a lot of respect in terms of, of, of how New Zealand approach I mean, set pieces. Um, and uh, I can understand that um, just as us, that they, they always look to improve your scrums, you always look to improve your malls and, and the st stopping malls. And, and we know that would be a, a very highly contested and physical area coming up against New Zealand. Um, um, I mean... Um, then the new forward coach have emphasized the fact that, uh, as you said, that um, um, there is an area that they want to improve on in. And, and I mean, if you look at um, the work that they've put in um, with, with Fiji and also with, with the Crusaders over the years, I mean, they, um, we understand it's going to be a, a, a challenge, but um, we also want to get better in that specific area. So we, we will prepare for that. And are you guys looking from a mental preparation perspective? Because there, there is a going trend that New Zealand are probably at their most vulnerable, but I think the Springboks have learned in the past that there's never a mm. weak New Zealand side. So just as a coaching staff, how are you guys looking at just keeping the players grounded and knowing that New Zealand still remains a formidable challenge regardless of recent results? No, I think we we very um, task-based, uh, focus on terms of what we need to do. I don't think uh, uh, there's any test match where we, where we ever underestimated any team or, or uh, um, sort of... Uh, um, generalized uh, um, the opinion of others. I think we, we understand that for us it's, it's important to be at our best for every <coughs> test match. Um, as you've also mentioned, um, the history will tell you that the tests against uh, New Zealand and South Africa is, is, is always some of the, the best uh, contested games. Um, um, we, we understand that 
as a team, they, they, they are very desperate in terms of, 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 of putting up a better performance, but we are also desperate in terms of, of improving our game. So um, I think uh, um, our, our attitude towards the way we prepare for New Zealand or any other team won't change. Um, it's all about becoming the best we can be. Ron, uh, just, just on the stadium as such, it's not, it's not a pitch that most of the squad has played on a lot. I mean, there's only been three other test matches here as well. So just how does that compare? Is that a bit of a leveler and that doesn't give... I mean, it is a home game and you've got home crowds, but I mean, does, that, does that make much of a difference? I think, you know, the fact that it's it's in South Africa, it's how I'm going for us. Um, I think it will be special if you go to places like Nelspet or Port Elizabeth that does not get a lot of tests, you know, it's always special. People always come out in full numbers and, you know, would love to see that and that would be awesome. Um, so I think it will still be special at the Mumbella this weekend. And just the pitch, I mean, have you had a look at the pitch yet? Or is it not recently. I think last year we played a, a Curry Cup game there and what I can remember is very good. The pitch itself, I think it's a very, very good pitch. Um, I haven't been there um, last week. No. Ross, just from a player's perspective, um, two matches in a row against the All Blacks, does it get much bigger and more exciting than that? Yeah, I think it's obviously very special um, with the change of the competition with the back-to-back -back games now in South Africa. It's going to be, you know, obviously this week and next week at Alice Park. It's going to be special um, and it's going to be big, as you said, definitely. Ron, what are the pointers that you taken from all the scrum to end the year tour and their matches against Ireland? I mean, they've been saying that they've been missing the physical edge that the South African teams have provided in Super Rugby, but are, you, are there specific pointers that you can say that the all-back scrum is still formidable here and there? Um, I won't say there's certain pointers that I'll point out, but as you said now, that, that it's, it's still the all-black scrum. It will always be good. Um, I don't know what more I can say about that. Um, as you said earlier, if you underestimate them, you'll be in big trouble, and I think I think the All Black Scrum is, you know, it's it's proper. I don't think there's anything coming short or anything that they're missing, as you asked now, I think. Did you feel then as players that there were incremental performances in the Wales series where in the first test there were improvements, then there was the change, the changes made in second test. But do you feel <coughs> that now you're reaching a point where a very good performance is due considering that there were improvements in the Wales series? I think as Coach Dion said earlier, you know, we try to put our focus on us getting better constantly. I think we got better um, in the World Series, throughout the series. And, you know, that was the focus last week in our prep camp as well, to get better at our stuff, um, to execute our stuff better. And for me personally, you know, it's more the set piece will always be important and it's my primary job. So, <clears throat> you know, I think Constantly trying to improve and be better and have work on there is our main focus that answers your question. Uh, Franz, um, from a, 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 some sort of a follow up to Kendall's question earlier that I asked the coach, from a mental preparedness, uh, individually as a player, um, given the enormity of the occasions of the Spring Box All Blacks, how do you approach it from a mental perspective? Because playing against the All Blacks is more, I guess, mental than also. As, as being physical on the field. Yeah, as my previous answer, I think um, the mental side of it is also to, you know, to focus on on your job in 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 your preparation. I think that that helps a lot with the mental prep, is to is by knowing that you did your prep and you are working on your own game and your own improvements constantly to get better. I think that's a that that, that helps with the mental prep to get um, some sort of com comfort in, you know, going into the game, you know, you did your prep, you did, you put the work in, and we worked on stuff we had to work on that was, you know, that was, that had work on to be done. I don't know if that gives you an answer. 
<coughs> the Bronx series against Wales, you had the luxury of 50,000 people per test match. Um, just how different was that? What energy did you draw from it? And can the atmosphere play a role in, on Saturday? It was very special to play. Um, I didn't play the second test in Bloemfontein, but obviously I was obviously I was there. Um, but it was very special at first, and you know all three games, having everyone back, um, full capacity stadiums. It was really really special, and it really helps a lot playing that atmosphere um, on the field. I personally think it helps a lot. Yeah. From the front, you've been in the situation that the All Blacks have been in, where um, a couple of years ago, you and that squad, and the, yeah, the guys had to come back from 57, but were you in that squad? Or? I was injured that particular game, but, but I, mean, I was playing that time, yeah. You've been in these situations where you know who the backs are, your backs against the yeah. people. Obviously, there's been a lot of noise around the team and what they're going through at the moment. Yeah. Just how dangerous does that make them? Well, very dangerous, as you, I think, you mentioned it now. You answered it as well. Um, you know, the All Blacks will always be a formidable side. And they had, you know, two results not going their way now against the Irish. And, you know, as it has been said so many times, I'll be desperate to change that. Franz, you guys have been in the local now for just over a week. Have you enjoyed the local and the hospitality of the people? No, it's a special place, eh? a very special place in my opinion. Special part of South Africa. We had a, a, a awesome prep week last week. Um, I think it was very well, a very very good training week. Um, saw a little bit of a little bit of the low felt on our off time, and yeah, I think it's it's awesome. Really like to thank the people. Yeah, just. Um Massive congratulations for the Blitzbrook on, a, I think, an outstanding performance. Um, I think uh, the way they've played um, is actually typical of, of, of the character of, of, of a South African team. Uh, um, um, getting into the finals and, and, and playing, in my opinion, um, very well um, in relation to their game plan. I think they've executed it well. Um, I think the way they've... Uh, um, I played with the ball and without the ball uh, um, was very good, and um, I think it was a champion championship or champions performance um, for the whole time on the field, and, and we can just be proud in terms of, of of the win that they that they that they got. I think it's fully deserved, and uh, yeah, they must know that um, they made us proud, and, and uh, that will also I think serve as, as an inspiration. For, for, for us going forward to, to put up or to strive to put up the same sort of uh, um, performance that, that they've done in this final. Yeah, from my side, just a, obviously a big congratulations. Um, I think it was an awesome performance in the final. It was lovely to watch and you just could see the reaction on the guys after the game, how much it meant to them. And yeah, just really, really proud of them and really proud of being associated with them. Thanks. Is that it? No, Africans? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. You, darling.